So a few months ago, I did a um, video on the Pass and Seymour 15 amp switches and the fact that I had one of them quit working. And after I pulled it out and turned it around, it had a crack that went from one corner uh, to the other corner. And I just had another one do the same thing. And so let's turn it around and see what we have. Look at that. Same exact problem. Crack from one corner, starting down here. Or just starting up here ground lug and traveling across to the um, bottom of the uh, uh, terminals. Now these were not over tightened because they used the push-ins here and well let's look to this one here to connect this to the power. This was completely a plastic fatigue issue, just like I diagnosed in the last time. In the last video, I drilled out this rivet and this rivet and took the switch apart meticulously and was able to determine that it was indeed a plastic failure. Well, this switch, which was a closet, an attic closet switch, which probably gets used, you know, three times a month, um, quit working as well. And so I called Pass and Seymour and talked to them and had to send them videos. Um, I sent them a link to my YouTube video. And um, I will say they actually responded pretty well to it. They said that they have not seen this problem occur in other switches. So it's not a like a systemic problem to this particular brand of switches. But they did send me a box of switches to replace not only the two, Pass and Seymour on the Grand, by the way, are the same company. Um, not only replaced the two switches that had broke, but they sent me three additional switches look, I mean, almost identical to the ones that have broke. I haven't compared them yet, so we're going to do a comparison here live. Live on the air. They're a little bit lighter gray now, but um, they look they look identical. So, um, I said, you know what? Send me the two switches that I had to replace for free, and then send me three more. Well, four more. Wait, they sent me. Yeah. They sent me. Uh, is that too bad? They sent me three more to cover any additional switches that go bad. But again, they're saying that this is not a problem. That's it's an isolated incident. So we're gonna see over the next few months um, if I have other switches that go bad. We're at 14 years on these switches. And I do not believe that they're a fire hazard because when they go bad and they separate, they actually, the contacts actually disconnect inside the switch. So I don't think there's an opportunity for arcing to occur, which that's what burned your house down, right? Arcing is what burns your house down. And I don't think that the switch problem that they're having is going to create that issue. But we're gonna find out, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully find out by not burning my house down. But so far, I'm, I'm impressed with LeGrand, Pass and Seymour. And um, we'll see. As you can see, there was no charge on this um, invoice that they sent me for five of the 660WG. Um, 15 amp, 120 volt grounded terminals in white. No charge. So, 
we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see what happens. And I'll be reporting back in in a couple months if I have another switch go bad. Thanks. Bye. Hey, please remember to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Hit the like button and also hit the bell so that you get reminders if I do um, produce other videos in the future that you might be interested in. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.